Hello everybody and welcome back to another brand new Sims 4 Let's Play video and last time we decided to move Ariana out to sort of run a little Sims experiment as it were because I feel like then we need to do something with the series that is unique and more interesting and I thought that with Ariana you know being a teenager and the uni and the university pack coming out soon I thought for me it's not out yet but for you guys it's probably already out but I decided that in the new year I might buy the university pack so that Ariana here can go to university so I've decided to take a little step back move Ariana out and I've got her her in place and I've sort of done a little bit of redecorating because they had pink cabinets here so I decided to redo all them I put some new wallpaper up I re the living room a little bit to have a TV on the wall and I think she, know, she might get a little bit lonely so I thought why not get her a dog because who doesn't want like a dog you know Christmas is nearby and that's the thing I need to do I need to put a Christmas tree up because it's nearly Christmas so I need to do that at some point but I can't at the minute because yeah, she's got no money. And how do you adopt a pet? Oh, you can't. Okay, teenagers cannot adopt pets, so I'm going to have to figure, I'm going to have to quickly pop into create a sim and get her a pet dog, basically. That's, that's fun, but I'll be back in a second. Okay, so here we are. We've got a nice little, we've got a cute little dog here. And I've named her Mia, and she's a little Yorkshire Terrier, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, she's a cute little Yorkshire Terrier. And there we go, we just want, I want like a little dog, because you don't want like a massive dog in a flat, because there wouldn't be any room for the dog. Alright, so we've got the bed now, which is good, and we click quickly going to assign the bed to Ariana, because just so she goes to this bed no one else sleeps in it because we don't want anyone in there um, yeah we're just gonna quickly see what this game's actually doing if it'll decide to load there we go it's claimed it it's now claimed to me which is good news let's see if we can claim this bed to the dog we should probably bond with a dog shouldn't we yeah, we should offer friendship. Because you know, having a dog is having a dog is good. Okay, can you stop crying now? Thank you. Oh, the sound of people crying. It's horrible. Are we friends now? But of course we've got a Simstagram. We've got to take a photo of that dog. And in between the leg shot because... Yeah. There we go. Perfect. We're now going to put that on the old... Oh my my god, Mia's got more followers than Blue and me. Jeez. Now can I've got like 50 something followers on Instagram. Flexing. Ah, comfortable hug. <laughs> Look at that little dog. She's like literally inside you. That dog is literally inside you. Not in a weird way. But. Ah, oh, that would good. She's doing that. And after that, we're going to read about the festival, which is right there. So let's go to the festival with Mia, shall we? What festival is this? It's not the love festival. It's the curry festival. Ho, 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 yes. Yep, the spice festival. Oh, I call it the curry festival, okay. By going to attempt it, 
we're going to attempt to win this challenge. Is she going to win? Keep going. Because once you get used to eating hot food, you'll be bossing this challenge. <laughs> We've got Alien. See, Sims is very diverse. That's what I like about Sims. We've got aliens running st shopping at uh, market stores, which is good. We need that. We need that in real life. We need aliens running market stores. That'd be quite a cool thing to watch. What was that? Oh, she failed it. That's good, isn't it? Let's, let's sit and try. No, she's a teenager. She's she's just moved out. She's in the big city. She's got to experiment. She's got to do it in her teenage years. So let's just blow some bubbles. And what flavour are they? I don't know, but apparently she doesn't like it. And she needs fun. Oh, it's a partner. It's a boyfriend. He's a he's some of a celebrity himself. Is there a way I could boost her fame? No, she's level three. Not level two fame. Let's see if we can get that fame up. Add to the old Simpsagram story. You know she wants she wants that fame so she can earn dollar. If she earns more money, she can actually afford her place. That's one thing I've been a teenager. She's now living in that flat by herself and rents about 400 quid a week. Or 400 millions a week. Whew, that's been cutting it fine. I think she only works on the weekends as well. Which is a bit of a hassle. She starts in 15 and 16 hours. Okay, she works five days a week, so that's good, that's good. So she'll get about 100 a day. And how's she got 22,000? How on earth does she get 22,000? Look. Last time I looked at it, she had 60 something. Wait, because I split the family, I obviously put added meter. Does that mean did that glitch it? I don't know. But I mean, we've got twenty grand extra, so we might as well use it. We can either move flats, which no, we won't do. We're not going to move flats. Oh, food. How is she doing in terms of her needs? She needs fun. Energy is quite low. So I might actually just get her needs up now. Like watch a bit of TV, then go to sleep because yeah. Actually let's play an online game. Let's play it with Andy and Alan and Nancy. There we go. That's all we need to do. Then after that she can go to sleep. And yeah, that'd be it'll be all good. So we'll just watch her sort of do what she needs to do. I know it's like one sim it's a bit hard to do a series because you've got to obviously focus on them. But at the same time I think that's good because it means that you're not constantly like flicking back and forth. But I think this experiment I've now got Chanel and Charles at home with their kids. Their other kids. And I've got Ariana here. So I'm thinking in the next episode, I will be over at Chanel's and Charles's house. And then after that one, I'll just sort of flick between the two. So sort of like maybe half the episode I'll be here, half the episode I'll be over there. And sort of, sort of see how they're doing. Like from time to time, I sort of like make them meet, make them meet up or something like that. I think that'd be quite a cool concept. I've got to sort of experiment with it as it were but I think it would be quite a cool idea to sort of to see how that's doing and I've got wrapping paper all over my floor because I've been, I was wrapping Christmas presents yesterday 
And I've still got to get some more. I've literally got, I've got like four more I need to get. But luckily, I'll have money next week, so I'll be able to finish it off. I've got cards. I brought some a pack of cards from B&M last year because I wasn't earning that much, so I'm just going to use them this year, and I still have left over for next year. Because and then hopefully I'll be earning more money next year. I'll be like earning like 400 quid in two weeks. I mean, I can actually start my shopping in like October because that's what I usually did. Like sort of in October, done like a little bit, and obviously here and there. But now because I changed my jobs at the end of October. I didn't want to spend any of my money from my last job just in case I didn't get paid and didn't start my job till bonfire night I know that's how I remember it <laughs> and then um, yeah it's just like a, the first week I done five shifts and then because I had someone in there doing five shifts on my train from my training and then my second third and fourth week I was doing two three shifts so I didn't really get that much so that hasn't really helped me in terms of spending on Christmas but now I'm starting to get five days a week because my training shifts are over so I'm now starting to get like 270 something pound a week which obviously after tax like 20% of that is horrible I know it's taxes like I only got, I only done like five shifts last week but then I got but because the first time they paid me, they didn't take the tax out. They had to like some other bits out. I th actually, I think they did. I think they did tax it, but they just put it all together on the payslip. So I lost like 20% of it. So I only got like 203 pound. And then by the time I've paid, I've spent like 40 pound. I've basically used it all already. I got paid last Friday and it's now Tuesday. I've got like 80, 50 pound left. And that's gone on fuel. That's gone on like a few bits of myself. Just be only like I sent like forty quid of myself because I haven't brought myself something in a while. You know, it's Christmas. Self love is important, and I've also brought some Christmas presents. Spent about forty pound on that, and I've had presents from October and November, which I brought. But before I left my last job, I sort of brought a bit of money and well, I spent a bit of money on a present in October, November. I spent a little bit on for Christmas. And then that's like all the expensive duff stuff does. It's just like cheap stuff I've got to get now. Not like cheap, cheap, but you know, cheaper than like what I'd usually spend. But like last year I spent five, I spent about five, six hundred pound on Christmas, and I was only earning sixty-six pound a week. Yes, that was that was crazy. But anyway, I'm going to end this video here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, leave it a big thumbs up, and I'll see you all next time. See ya. Bye.